Okay guys, I just did a part one, part two review, one and two review for five more minutes moment like these. So you wanna go check out that, those TikToks. And this is the last movie, brand new movie to premiere for the 2022 Miracles of Christmas season. So I'm gonna tell you something, I'll go back between the two five more minutes and then I will wrap up Miracles of Christmas for the 2022 season how I see it. So Miracles of Christmas is basically, you know, going to be a little bit different from Countdown of Christmas. They deal with deeper issues like death, grief, loss, learning to love again, learning to let go. So generally when I'm over there, I'm usually losing lashes, like crying and losing lashes, my poor lash tech. So now five more minutes moment like these, I didn't connect because they gave us that same you know, small town real estate developer and they didn't add no extra twang to it like they did a Maple Valley Christmas baby. It was just, I didn't really see Ashley's character really connecting with, with Lucas's character. I told you, um, you know, Brady that played Adam, I still see him as the bully in inventing the prince. Like, auntie, I want the kids to work, but when you see a child recently played a bully and he played that bully so well, it was hard for me to see him as sweet and innocent as he's searching to make friends up in Colorado in this movie. I think Nikki Deloach is just is just the queen over there. You know how we got Lacey on Countdown to Christmas? I think Nikki Deloach is just the queen over there of on Miracles of Christmas of bringing feelings because I said even a gift of peace, she had me crying. I think the original five more minutes with her was just deeper. It gave us a back love story for her grandfather. Um, she gets those extra five more minutes with him. Really, she gets one week with him. And that moment of her finding out that the guy that's been working in the store for the week was really her, her a younger version of her grandfather. Like when she starts crying and she runs out that store, baby, I start crying too. I think that movie compared to this one is like a nine out of 10. I give five more minutes moment like these a seven out of 10. In general, I really enjoyed Miracles of Christmas. I told you my number one favorite movie over there was The Holiday Stocking. Next, check out A Maple Valley Christmas. Then check out We Need a Little Christmas. Um, if you want to deal with a little bit of grief, go on over there and go watch Gift of Peace with Nikki Deloach. Um, definitely, if you're having a hard time getting through the holidays and you need something deeper to connect, go and rewatch some of these Miracles of Christmas movies. In general, I think Hallmark Movies and Mysteries should be extremely proud of their Miracles of Christmas 2022 season. And I don't have to stay on them that much about diversity and inclusion because they usually sprinkle that right on in for us. So I don't have to ask them too many questions. All right, guys, it's KJM and I've just wrapped up Miracles of Christmas 2022 season.